So for my research paper, uh, my statement was male poets and the romantic era. I thought it would be interesting to uh, research about some poets that wrote during the romantic era. These poets uh, stood up against indu the industrial revolution and had a lot, a lot of courage um, because not a lot of people that time were, were doing that. Three poets were Williams Word Wordsworth, Samuel Taylor Coldridge, and John Keats. Um, through their poems and short stories, they brought a small group of people together to uh, protect and fight for nature. So romanticism began <clears throat> around the start of the French Revolution and the Enlightenment in, the 17, in 1789, and it ended around 1850. Uh, Peter Alcroyd best described uh, romanticism as the story of man's escape from the shackles of commerce and industry to the freedom of nature. In a time when a world was becoming increasingly mechanized, the romantics sought an intense relationship with the natural world. In doing so, they revolutionized our perception of life itself. So, Williams, William Wordsworth was one of the founding fathers of the uh, Romantic era. <clears throat> he was remembered as a poet concerned with human relationship to nature and a fierce advocate using the vocabulary and speech patterns of common people in poetry. Um, he started writing poetry at a young age. Uh, he always loved doing that. <clears throat> and, uh, he stood up for nature with a voice. He stood up for nature and was a voice for people that didn't have a voice in the fight. Uh, uh, Wordsworth also uses strong political views and unpopular beliefs to gain support from the minority to stand against the Industrial Revolution. Another romantic uh, poet, male romantic poet, was Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Uh, he also started writing poetry at a young age. Um, Coleridge inspired a brilliant generation of writers and attracted the progressive men of the rising middle class. His poems and stories deeply and darkly had a positive impact on all poets of his age. He's mostly, most, mostly known for creating the idea of converse conversational poetry, which is the idea of utilizing common everyday language to express profound po poetic images and ideas. Uh, uh, lastly, John Keats was another major poet in the Romantic period. Uh, he was, he didn't live, while he was alive, he was not well liked or respected by other poets and critics. He had a young life. Um, he was born in 1795 and died at 1821, but he still got a lot done in those short years. Um, his, today, his poems and letters are some of the most popular and most analyzed in the English literature because how he connected so well and how they still connect today to readers. Um, even though he was a lot younger than most of the poets, he did not have a lot of people to stand with him so he was mostly on his own he did not let that stop him and he had a big impact on others lives through his hard work and dedication to produce well-written poems and stories so in conclusion wordsworth coldridge and keats lived their life to the fullest by using their skills of poetry to gain support from the middle class of england who loved nature and wanted to protect it from the industrial revolution they endured a lot of hatred for standing up for nature and trying to protect what meant a lot to them and others they loved. The way they lived their lives answered the question of what are things worth standing up for and how do we make the decision to stand up for it. Thanks.